Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data scientist or a data analyst, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, Emily Prasad, I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies which are already available in the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in LeetCode platform are there in my github repository the link for that repository is available in the chart description below and in addition to that i have segregated all the videos in my channel into five playlists which are namely easy medium and hard depending upon the difficulty of the question fourth as premium questions which are available in the lead code platform and all the questions which are available i have joined into one single playlist and i have ordered by sequence number okay let's see the question which we are trying to solve today it is of question number 1623 all valid triplets that can represent a country let's see the question it is already asked in amazon okay school a student id student name student id is the primary key for this table similarly school b student id student name okay school c student id okay there is a country in which three schools are there. Okay, there are three schools in a country called School A, School B, School C, where each student is enrolled in exactly one school. Okay. Okay, there is no repeating student in that. Okay. The country is joining a competition, wants to select one student from each school to represent the country such that okay, there need to be selected three students from three schools. Member A from school A, member B from school B, member C from school C. Okay. The selected students' names and ID are pairwise distinct means that okay, there should not be no different uh, same ID and the same name also. Okay, I'll explain that what it they meant. Write an SQL query to find all the possible triplets representing the country under the different conditions. Okay, let's see this. Uh, let's take it one by one. Let's see the solution data set also. Okay. Now what is the question is? They are selecting one student from this section, one section from this section, one student from this section. The caveat here is no student should have the same name and the same ID. Let's see. Let's say that First student, what are the possibilities are there? Here two are there, here one students are there, one student is there, three students is there. Means two into one into three, six different possibilities are there. Let's see each case. Okay. Let's say that first student is selected in student A. There is only one student here, so it will be selected this one. And let's say this is selected. Okay. Here you can see from one student one and two. You can see Alice and Tom, okay, different names, one and three, different IDs, okay, no issue. Let's see from two to three. For two to three, you can see that Tom and Tom, same name is there. So, this condition is not valid, okay. Now, let's go to the next one. See, what are this uh, next one? Where one, one this one see what are the conditions see first condition is this one second condition is this one one three two third is this one one three ten similarly two three three two three two two three ten these are the only different possible conditions okay we have checked the first condition we will see the second condition now okay one allies three tom this is two jerry okay 
allies and tom no uh, same things different student id is there different uh, student names are there so no issue similarly tom and jerry different names 2 comma 3 different okay so this is a possible connection so let's write it here allies tom jerry okay this three can select now let's select the third condition which is allies tom and allies here you can see allies and tom are different one and three different similarly see this should not be different this should be different again this two also should be different so one three allies tom no issue tom allies 310 no issue means 1 2 no issue 2 3 is no issue we need to see from 3 to 1 allies and allies same name so this is also not a valid thing okay three conditions are complete let's go to the fourth one 2 bob 3 this one bob and tom different name 2 comma 3 different name okay no issue let's see for this this thing in uh, school 2 and school 3 okay Tom and Tom same name so this is also not valid what is the second thing again Bob Tom Jerry Bob Tom different 2 comma 3 different 1 2 no issue let's see for 2 3 Tom Jerry no issue 3 2 no issue okay Tom and Jerry again uh, no issue but if you see sorry Bob and Jerry no issue but there is one more issue which is here it is ID2 here it is ID2 3 and 1 it is not matching so this condition is also not valid let's see the final condition Bob Tom allies Bob and Tom no issue 2 and 3 no issue similarly for 2 and 3 Tom and allies no issue 3 and 10 no issue now table 3 to 1 Jerry to Bob no issue 10 to 2 no issue so this is a valid condition so Bob Bob Tom and allies is a second valid condition that is what they given in the solution so what we need to do we need to do inner join of A is to B matching these two are not matched after that we need to do inner join with this one such that these two are not matched and also these two are not matched okay let's see the code for that from school a school a as a inner join school b as b on sorry on a dot student id not equal to b dot student id or it can be any one of things it should not be matched no both should not be matched both should be met okay a dot student name not equal to b dot student name this is the first criteria we build from table 1 to table 2 now how we need to do table 2 to 3 such that these two things are not matched and also these two things are not matched inner join school b sorry school c c such that b dot student id not equal to c dot student id and b dot student name not equal to c dot student name okay and what is the one more condition 
this is for one to one and two tables this is for two and three tables we need to write again for three and one table and c dot student id in third table id not equal to first table id and c dot what is that student name student name not equal to b dot student name okay we have joined all the conditions which are required for our parameters which they mentioned now what we want every student name from each table and let we need to call it as member a member b member c so i will write select uh, a table dot student name as member a comma b dot student name as member b comma c dot student name as member c I think we are good let's run it uh, what is that we are matching okay we want only this tick we don't want repeating distinct just run it uh, what is this distinct allies tom allies jerry just a minute okay should be or not end mm. not joined and not matching both of them it should be there or what one minute i think it should be or only wait a minute uh, some mistake i've done what is the both conditions which should match here Okay, not both and only it is and let's see where it is the mistake allies tom jerry allies tom jerry but it is returning this one also so one okay here it is not b a uh, small mistake now it will execute so yeah as we've seen we need to join and not join of them here it's one and two table should not match two and three table should not match three and one table should not match we need to take table uh, students from each table and we need to take only distinct because we don't want repeating things yes our methodology has uh, been passed to all the test cases thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your study partners or friends who are there it will be beneficial for them also be disciplined complete all the videos which are there in the playlist achieve your dream just don't stop keep hustling keep learning keep growing